Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be going over what is, in my opinion, the most underrated mechanic in all of Rocket League, and that is dribbling. A lot of players completely underestimate dribbling and think they need to be able to do things like flip reset and ceiling shot to win games. But the reality is, if you have good ground control, you can outplay players of almost any rank. Before I get into this though, one last thing I feel like I always have to mention is that currently 98% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So if you are a part of that group, please consider subbing if you like this video. It's completely free and you can unsub whenever you want. Anyways, without any further wait, let's talk about how to dribble in Rocket League. Okay, since dribbling is a very broad mechanic, I'm going to structure this guide starting with the very basics with just how to get started dribbling, and then as the video progresses, I'll get into more complicated dribbling techniques and of course, ways to practice. So hopefully there will be something in here for all of you, and as always, I'll have timestamps in the description if you wanna to jump to any specific part of the video. All right, with that out of the way, let's get started with the basics. If you're a complete beginner to dribbling, the best place to start learning is in free play. Now, if you're just getting started dribbling, the number one drill I'd recommend that I actually used when I was starting out is something I like to call wall-assisted dribbling. For many new players, just getting the ball on your car and keeping it there can be difficult. So using the wall before you try to carry the ball on its own is a great way to get started. With this drill, all you have to do is guide the ball over to the wall in free play, make sure to turn off ball cam, and do your best to keep the ball lodged between your car and the wall as you carry it around the field. Once you're comfortable with this, the next step in the progression is to try and get the ball on your car when you get to each side's goal. The idea here is to try to ease into dribbling by focusing on controlling the ball only for a small distance across the goal. Once you get the ball across the goal, you can go back to using the wall to dribble and repeat this process until this drill becomes easy. Once you feel like you can do this with ease, the next step I recommend taking is actually exiting free play and moving on to training packs before we come back to free play. Now generally, I don't recommend training packs before you get the setup down for most mechanics, but with dribbling, I actually think it's beneficial to have the ball set up for you before you learn to set it up for yourself. Okay, before we go over to training, I'll have the code for the training pack I recommend using in the description below, so make sure to check there for this next drill. Okay, once you have the training pack open, we're going to start moving through the drills in order. Now when you're getting started, don't worry about scoring because your main goal for these first couple shots should just be to try to carry the ball on your car for as long as you can. Now if you're having trouble with this at first, don't worry because it's totally normal to not get it right away. But besides practicing, the number one tip I'm going to share if you're having trouble keeping the ball on your car is to try to focus more on watching the ball and not watching your car. This way, you'll be able to catch any small movement of the ball, so anytime you see the ball slipping away, you'll know to make a slight adjustment with your car to keep up the carry. Another key here is that each adjustment you make should be slight. This is because it's much easier to control the ball if your car is moving steadily as opposed to cutting back and forth. Like with the previous progressions, make sure to give this time and keep practicing these first three shots in the training pack until you can consistently dribble the ball into the opposing net. Okay, if you followed everything so far, you'll know how to carry the ball on your car. But what you might not know is how to actually set up a dribble. So that's what I'll go over now. To practice setting up a ground dribble, what you should start by doing is just chipping the ball around in free play. With this drill, your goal should be to try to contact the ball as it's on the up bounce and really do your best to avoid killing the dribble. Now, if you ever lose the dribble, it's no worries. Just reset it and start it up again. As you get more and more comfortable with this drill, what you're going to want to do is to start to incorporate changes in direction. Like I said earlier, the goal is still to just keep the ball bouncing and avoid killing the dribble. Feel free to take some time with this because it's a big step up and you're really going to have to get this down before we bring everything together in the next step. Once you can confidently keep the ball in your car and you can maintain a ground dribble, the final step is to bring it all together with the catch. 
Catching is a super useful component of dribbling that you'll use all the time in your ranked games. And like it sounds, all it really is, is receiving and controlling the ball as it comes towards you. To learn how to catch, you're going to want to reopen the training pack I mentioned earlier and start with shot four. With these last couple shots in the pack, your goal is to successfully catch the ball and then transition it into a dribble across the field. If you're having trouble with the catch, my advice is to slow things down and if you haven't already, turn off ball cam as you receive the ball. This way, you can track the ball on the ground, position your car perfectly underneath for the catch, and then focus on dribbling it through afterwards. Now this drill is really a combination of everything that I mentioned up until this point. So if you're noticing any problems, don't be afraid to revisit any of the previous drills to hone in on your specific dribbling skills. Okay, if you followed this far, you should know just about everything for the basics of dribbling. The last component of dribbling that might technically be considered separate, but I really want to touch on in this video, is flicking. Now I won't get super in depth with the details of flicking because there's so much to talk about, but I will cover the basics because a basic flick is actually pretty easy to execute. All you really need to know to get started flicking is that whichever side of your car the ball is on is the way you should flip to flick it. So for example, if the ball is slightly in front of your car, a front flip flick will work well. The same thing goes if the ball is on the right side of your car, you should dodge right to flick it. If it's on the left, you should dodge left, behind you, flip backwards, and so on. Just like with all other aspects of dribbling, practice is key with flicks. And really the best way to practice is to just drill flicks over and over, and over time you'll start to get a feel for when flicks will work and when they won't. Once you get these basic flicks down though, you'll have a really solid foundation for dribbling and flicking that you can use in your games. The only thing left to do now is practice. So the last thing I'll mention in this guide is my favorite way to train. For those of you who have already seen my beginner's guide to Rocket League, you'd probably be able to guess that my favorite way to practice is with custom maps. In specific, I think the best custom map to train your dribbling is Dribble Challenge 2. So if you haven't already downloaded this map, I highly suggest you do because there's really no replacement. This map is going to allow you to train dribbling in ways that really no other map does. And this map is great because it forces you into a lot of awkward situations. So when it comes game time, you'll be prepared for anything. The one final thing I do want to mention with this training though, is it's really easy to forget to train flicks if this is the only type of training you do. So at the end of each level, do your best to set up a different flick to finish the level. That way, you'll be prepared to not only dribble in-game, but also flick around your opponents at the end. Alright guys, that is really all you need to know for the basics on flicking and dribbling. Now there are tons of different variations of flicks and dribbles, but really these are the foundations you need to be able to pull off any of the other complicated mechanics. Alright guys, that is going to wrap things up for this dribbling guide. But before the video ends, I wanted to talk about the monthly giveaway for those of you who are new to the channel. So if you're new here, at the end of every month, I pick a random commenter on my videos to be coached to GC by me. What this means is that if your comment gets picked, I'll coach you until you hit Grand Champion rank in Rocket League. So if you want to enter for a chance to win that, all you have to do is leave a comment below with your rank in Rocket League. If you did find this video interesting, all I ask is that you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. That's all I've got though, so thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.